everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to AlphaCraft. Here we are in Nether Hub Central, Nether Hub being built slowly and methodically by Drama Smith, which is just looking amazing. Look at that map down there. That is crazy. Her and Dibs are going around mapping the entire area of the server that we play on. That's just, oh, <laughs> mind-boggling. Good job, guys, the amount of work that's being done there. That is just crazy. We're going to run over here real quick because right after last episode, right after we finished recording, uh, the next evening, Spiderweb Ninja and I jumped on the server and uh, was able to find ourselves a villager. Yes, we were. It was, uh, it was quite the adventure. Uh-oh. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad spawns in here. This is kind of open. I think we can do it. I've got a uh, ender pearl just in case I need to throw. Um, but yeah, we found ourselves a, a zombie villager. We got them, uh, got him captured and uh, down into the area, and then could not get the guy to go into a minecart. Uh, her and I spent probably I don't know five, ten minutes running in circles, <laughs> and all of a sudden the, the the villager died, and we figured out she had thorns on her armor. And it kept attacking her and it ended up killing her. So we were able to go back and uh, wait till wait for the next night to, to pass and uh, wander around for a few minutes out in the woods. And we found another one and we got the villager uh, secured. Like we, I went ahead and set up a powered rail system that just stayed on and we were able to secure a villager a zombie villager. And so since she cured the last one, I went ahead and cured this one. Well, when I cured it, it uh um what happened let's see we put we put uh what do you call those things a lectern that's what it is you're just over there sir <laughs> it's been a day since we did this i'm trying to remember how it went um we we placed the lectern lectern down she placed it down and i kept checking and uh finally after like five or six tries which is crazy because the one before that y'all saw on camera that one we must have done it for like 20 minutes trying to uh, break the lectern and check the trades but we kept checking and checking for about five or six times and it came up with the first trade was a mending book so i went ahead and traded with him and i want you to see this trade this is right off the bat yeah this is sherbert <laughs> hey sherbert look at this a book huh? one book and i know it's marked out it says 22 marked out I didn't know what that meant, but I went ahead and took about 40. No, I had about 25 emeralds. I put 25 emeralds in a book in, and you know how much this mending book is? This mending book cost me one emerald and one book on the first try, which is amazing. So we are stockpiling mending books. Yes, we are, because we're going to do something special with these mending books and with these villagers selling mending books. Um... So that we can get, uh, so that people on the server can get mending books. Because the mending, the mending shop is empty. So this guy's still doing this. We, we, I have to do some experimenting because supposedly um, Spiderweb Ninja said there was a way that maybe we could re-zombify this guy and I could cure him. And then I would have access to his uh, prices as well. I don't know. See, that's the thing I don't know about these new villagers. Can two different players... Uh, both end up rescuing the villager at different times and end up both getting good trades. I don't want to try it on this villager because we got such a good thing going. What I might have to do is go into a creative world and uh, test that theory out just to see how it works so that we don't lose the villagers that we have. But I thought I would come over here real quick and show you that because that is going to be part of the key of what we're going to be doing in today's episode. And it became nighttime. Just like that. Let's go and close this. She's got a rudimentary path here all lit up and, and nice little step stones and stuff. So we can just run through here real quick, which is awesome. But now that we've got a mending villager, it is time for me to start working on my own store. Now, I'm not making a store that sells mending books, okay? That's not what I'm doing. Uh, KB already had that store set up. But what I am going to do is I'm going to make a store, and it just so happens in the store... Mending books are going to be able to be sold. Me and Spiderweb Ninja came up with this really, really cool idea that she's going to um, do for selling the mending books. There you go. And I'm not going to say too much yet because I want it to be a surprise at the end of the episode. So let's go back up here. Let's hop back through here. Get her some food. Whoop. 
There we go. And let's see here. What would be the quickest? Okay, that's to the Texas portal. That's back this way. You know what I could do? Let's get over here. I'm just going to enter Pearl because what we want to do now is we want to go back over to uh, to spawn central. Maybe one more. I don't want to get stuck in the uh, in the walls. That's for certain. I'll show you this. That. <laughs> It does have mending, and it has efficiency 5, which is awesome, awesome. But now I'm going to have to um, to run over to the Ender Ender and uh, get that thing repaired because I do not want to lose that axe. That axe is amazing. That axe is everything that I need it to be, and I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to have to definitely get it mended. But now that we have access to Mending Book... Oh, excuse me. Mm. Tired Piggy's tired. We got all this stuff going on. This mall is going to start getting worked on. We looked at this in the last episode. What I'm going to do, we're going to work on this spot right here. I'm going to start setting up my shop. I've come up with a really cool design. I think that's going to work. Um, so I just got to gather up all the materials and get over here and start building it. And then once I get this built, I'm going to bring Spiderweb Ninja over here and show her what the setup looks like so that she can go ahead and set up what she's going to set up in the shop. That's right. There's going to be like a dual effort here going on in this shop. So I'm going to run back over to my base. I'm going to get a bunch of my materials and gather them up, put them over here in some chests so that we can come back over here and start working on the store. So you can see what in the world is Piggy's little store going to be. Ooh, there's somebody sneaking around over there. Who could that be? Let's be sneaky pig for a second. Let's be nosy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, are they going to come in the front? Quick, we got to... Oh, 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 maybe they won't see us. Whoop. <laughs> it's Spiderweb Ninja. Does she know we're here? <laughs> I don't think so. But that's okay. As soon as we get that store set up and ready to go, that is when I'm going to um, to let her know that, that the spot is ready for her to come work on. So let's sneak over here. This will be funny. She's going to watch the video and see that she was being spied upon. She's sneaking around. Oh, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. But, yeah, I'm going to go gather up my, my materials and get started on the shop, and then we'll come back, and um, we'll see how it goes. I may do a little building on camera. I may do a, a little bit of building on camera. We'll see how this works out. I'm going to give it a try. I don't always do very well building on camera. But we're going to see how it works, okay? So I've rambled on long enough. I've dragged this out long enough. I'm going to go get the stuff, and I'll meet you back over here. All right, so I have worked on this front. Looking, Ooh, nice, 61 emeralds. Mm, that's going to be just awesome. This is going to be the front of the store that we're going to be working on. Now, you may notice that things that happen on screen are not necessarily going to be things I'm talking about, or it's going to be not synchronized. Well, there's a reason for that. Somebody recorded an entire clip and then didn't save the voice audio. So what you're hearing me say is being recorded after I recorded the video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you can see here in the room these shulker boxes. Uh, Spiderweb Ninja had done a run over to the nether and got a bunch of cool stuff. And she had a bunch of uh, shulker boxes. She asked me, did I need some? And I'm like, yeah. So I got some shulker boxes, which is just awesome, uh, courtesy of Spiderweb Ninja. We can see here we're going to get uh, a bunch of different materials out of this shulker box that I've been saving up to work on the store and um what we're going to do is we're going to build a mural on the wall um so what i'm going to do in this clip is i'm going to show you how to build the first mural and then after the first mural gets built then um then we'll come back and uh, i'll build the rest of them off camera but we're going to get ourselves a flower pot ready Go ahead and get all that dark oak out of the inventory just so we can uh, do this. And you can see where in the corners I've put diorite blocks and up in the ceiling I put diorite blocks. And that's because the the boundary looks better if I do it that way. You can see how those are half slabs. And I'm going to come back later and fill all those up as blocks. I just did the, the full blocks so I've got an outline of where everything's going to go. Those corners are full blocks because they're going to get filled in. Um, but that edge, like you can see how it's a line right there. If I didn't put those blocks there, then there would be like a weird gap at the top of the ceiling. So I just figured it would make more sense. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to fill up this wall 
with uh, acacia logs. I want to make sure they're all facing the same way as well. And I'm pretty sure we have enough material to do all this. So let's go ahead and just put all these in this spot. Smack them in there. And then we're going to get our trusty axe ready. Mm-hmm. And we're going to start stripping the logs, which would be really nice if there was a way to do this, like in a crafting bench. Maybe you could put a stack of logs with the axe in a crafting bench, and it just auto-stripped a, a whole stack for you at once. That would be really cool. But right now we have to do all this manually. And so what I want to do is I want to strategically uh, leave a few of these not stripped. And the rest of them, uh, we're going to pull the bark right off of them. Because we're, we're trying to make a little bit of a picture here. And at the same time, I'm also trying to reference an image of this wall that I took. And just try to, you know, make sure that everything lines up. We want that mural to look perfect. So now I want to take these acacia uh, leaves and we're going to smack these up here. Just make sure I do those right. <laughs> yep, making sure that the count is correct. And then I probably should have started at the top, but the good thing is we can aim at the ceiling and it'll let us do that. And then one right there. There we go. And now it looks like an acacia tree on the wall, which is just awesome. And like I said, we'll, you can see that gap, how it looks. I'm going to run up here and just kind of show you what's going on. Right up above us is another store. I think it's JJ's. Uh, yeah, JJ's shop spot. He's going to have a shop spot up here. And we've got all these lights up here. So what I didn't want to do is tear up the floor and just break all the lights and have a dark room with a spawning area. So what I'll do off camera later is I'll come back and we'll tear out the floor and replace it with uh, solid blocks. So from up above, it's going to look exactly the same, but from beneath, we'll have full blocks, and so it'll get rid of that border edge. So we're just going to come back over here, and I think the next thing we need to do is there's a few items we're going to have to craft uh, using acacia wood now. Let's just go ahead and get ourselves some planks, and go ahead and make some trapdoors, some stairs... Apparently, I've never made this stuff before, so we're getting all kinds of new recipes. And get some sticks. I think we're going to make, what is it, a sign? Yeah, it's really awesome that we can make signs out of uh, acacia, and we can make... like It's just so cool that they're finally starting to make it, where you can make all kinds of different wood items. Like buttons, and you know we've had fences for a while. They finally added doors at one time. It just gives you so many more options to work with. So go and get our sign ready. Here's your sign. <laughs> Get everything prepped and ready on the hot bar, and let's come over here. And I want to, we're going to build like a little um, stand, a themed stand where this acacia is. Oh, yeah, we needed some half half slabs as well. well actually, I only needed one, but it, it is what it is. We, we'll, we'll find use for the others later. Put ourselves a little half slab here and an upside down stair. And now that kind of looks like a little seat or a spot we'll give a little border edge right here i don't know if you can tell but there's like there's a theme going on right here i don't know why i did that i think it was trying to figure out can you break the floor and it won't break the uh the trap door i think that's what it was because we're gonna have to come back later and and replace the floor we'll swap that now the only thing is that little hit box you might accidentally come up to the store and hit it and it'll open the gate or close it, but I think everything will be fine when we put a sign right here. Now, something real funny happens when I go to edit this sign. See in the upper left hand, the little tilde sign right there? That little, um, like a curved straight line? Whenever I push that button, um, yeah, it turns on and off my, uh, my recording software. So I all of a sudden realized that was happening and I went and looked and there was like, oh, say 10, 15 little one second clips of video in, in my folder. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we'll come back in a little bit and I'll put the signs and uh, like not recording. I'll put the signs and I'll put the stuff that's supposed to be on the signs and get ourselves a little acacia sapling going right there. So that looks nice. And that's starting to look really good. We got a little bit of a mural going on. So now what I want to do is I have got uh, 
five more murals I have to build. Now, what I'm worried about is and it, it's like a catch-22. See, I wouldn't mind Mojang adding new trees to the game. But at the same time, if they add trees to the game, I don't know what I'm going to do about these murals. We might have to figure out a way to stick two trees in one one image or something like that. I don't know. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. it. It's a headache that I would welcome. I would welcome them having it where I've got to figure out how to get more trees in here. But now what i got to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix the ceiling. We're going to go ahead and fix the, the walls. I'll go ahead and do the floor off camera because that's going to be a little tedious. And right here in the center, we're going to have a kiosk. This kiosk is going to be um, like for random items, random stuff that have to do with trees. Uh oh, Spiderweb Ninja ran off so quick. I couldn't even say bye. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we're going to, you know, we're going to get some uh, some creatures in each of these stalls. We're going to get all this stuff set up. Get me a little food because I'm hungry. Hungry pig. Works up an appetite whenever he's doing some work. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that stuff done. Right over here in this little spot is something special that uh, Spiderweb Ninja is going to build for us. I'm going to have to go get her, and uh, we'll come back, and we'll show a clip of us talking with her about what's going to go in that spot, all right? So y'all just sit tight. I'm going to go find Spiderweb Ninja so we can get that spot built, and I'll see you back here in just a moment. All right, everybody, we have come over here to Spiderweb Ninja's shop. I think she's here. Let's check the window. I saw a name tag somewhere. Oh, there she is milling about. Let's see if we can get her attention. Spider, are you here? Oh, yes, I'm here. Hi. <laughs> are you Ow, that, was, uh -oh. that was loud. <laughs> Uh-oh, did I mess something up? No, I was just standing right next to the bell when you rang it, so it was like, you know, my head's still ringing, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so off camera, we finally, finally, uh -huh. finally got an awesome mending villager set up. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's been it's been great. And and I've been bringing shipments of sugar cane, and you've been converting converting them to emeralds. Yeah, we've got a stockpile going. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. And I finished. We have shop. way more than we need. Oh, but shh. Don't let anybody oh, know what? that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, First step that. of supply and demand. Don't ever let anyone know you have an oversupply. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I finished my shop. My uh, shop over <gasps> in Spawn. And I've got a little spot. I would like you to build something over there. <gasps> oh, yay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, could, I could probably do that. I want to, uh, yeah. so I, you've got something here I want to use as kind of like a template or an example. It's... Oh, do you want one of these diamond hoes? Huh? You want to buy one of these? No, no, no. We're not going to, you, you can't make a shop out of that. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I, you, you'll get a fancy achievement and everything. <laughs> Are these used? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you just, it's like, use them a few times, and then you get, like, bells and whistles and dings on your screen because you accomplished something cool using one up. So it, are you, like, a used car salesman here? Um, I, uh, used <laughs> diamond hose salesman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. How do you do this? Oh, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I was just trying no, to No, no, you convinced me. Sell. It's like, it's like buying a used car. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, wow. Thanks. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Where'd they go? They're in your hand. Oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> it just, on my screen, it they weren't there for a second. Oh, that's Wow. Weird. You're, I can't believe I that worked. Yeah, I'm an easy sell. <laughs> Well, you can go right out here and use it up real quick if you want to. You want to do that now or save it for later? Oh, right out here? What do you do? Just Oh, yeah. Just till the ground with it until you get bells and whistles and it's really cool. See? Where's the fireworks? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. You we'll, got a message. We'll get you some got later. A message. <laughs> okay. Achievement get. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Was was that worth the five? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I got to hear some music. Oh. 
Tell you what, okay, doors cool. in these worlds always slamming in my face. Okay. Wow. Sorry for that distraction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the right, king so of distraction. What, it works. <laughs> yeah. So, so what what would you like me to build? Anything in here? I really <gasps> like the Zoltan machine. Oh. Now yeah, this is a good one. There's one little yeah. problem with this. Oh. I can't okay. I can't right click the guy inside because I need to have like a shopkeeper. So could okay. you, do you think okay. you could build like a variation of this and we could put a shopkeeper inside it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I could do that. Um, yeah, that won't be too hard at all. I think I think we could make that work. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay. If we can make it over there because it's nighttime, if we can sneak over there real quick with no mobs finding us, I want to show you where we can put this thing. Okay, well, there I do have a bed right down here. I can sleep real quick. Oh, okay. It's gonna be prime real estate. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you like the the front spot in the store. People walk in, first thing they're gonna see is this. It's gonna be awesome. I want it to be cool. like a like a vending machine, a men a mending vending machine. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds cool. All right, so right over here is the front door, right? Uh, yeah. I get mm -hmm. so disoriented around here still okay here cool here we go <laughs> ah. now i i'm i'm not i want to look at this on camera so i'm going to do this so i don't spoil it i had a chance oh, okay. to glimpse your shop and i want to do it justice so that's all the reason i'm oh. walking funny <laughs> oh okay okay that's fine <laughs> but but here's the lumbering pig <gasps> oh wow i love this i love this set oh my goodness you totally look like a lumberjack <laughs> Look at all the baby piggies selling stuff. I love them. <laughs> Hello. Now, Hello, now, piggy. Oh. no, this is not child labor laws need to get involved or anything. These are baby pigs, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I I'm definitely going to be shopping here because I don't like chopping wood. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, right here. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I think, you know what? I think there's just enough room. Like, I think all you need is maybe like a, a two by three or something like that. Maybe a three by three if it has to be. I think two by three should be enough. And since this block right here in the middle is has the wall over here, mm -hmm. if I need to break out one of those, I can and it won't affect. So I think, I think this will be, I think this will be good. Awesome. Yeah. And I think I have, um, I think I have everything I might need. In my ender chest, so okay. uh, we could probably get this set up pretty quick. Well, looky what I got here. A little ATM machine oh. sitting here. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, I was thinking like it could be like a vending machine. So people, they'll walk in and uh -huh. it's boom, it's just right there. Like they got, so, oh, so yeah. the vending machine will draw people in to get the stuff and they'll want to buy more logs while they're here. And if they're on the way to buy mm -hmm. logs, they'll see the vending machine and have to take a trinket with them. Oh yeah. So it's like double. Oh, sales. that's a. Yeah, that's a great. That's a great uh, idea. Money, money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, you want me to get started then? Yeah, yeah. You go and get started. I'm gonna run over and I'm gonna grab some stock and bring it back here, so that way we can get this thing stocked up. Because I know there's some people itching and ready to start buying. Oh yeah. Oh, that'd be great. All right. Perfect. I'll get this going while you do that, and uh, yeah, we'll meet back. Awesome. All right. And here we are, back at the secret location with the secret factory, <laughs> the mending book factory. Hello, Sherbert. You are now a master and sells some, some okay stuff, but that's what we're looking for, those mending books. So let's go ahead and convert a little bit more. Go ahead and get this ready. Oh, you have to click that. Okay. Whoop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Herbert. Put those back in there. Want everything to look nice and tidy and clean. Awesome. So we've got that. Uh-oh. I didn't think this through. I should have brought some of those shulker boxes with me. Let's see here. Can we put... Do we have any room in there? Well, we can get three. Three's better than none. Why did that not go in there? And you, rotted flesh, what am I doing carrying that around? You get in there. I think that's good. Everything else we want to hold on to. Okay, awesome. So, do that, and then look at this. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> I don't, you know what, I don't need these things. 
polished diorite, I can make more of that. So let's go ahead and do this because I want to get as many mending books over there as possible because I know it's been a little while since mending books were available and I know that there's some people that just can't wait to buy the mending books, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead and take this this way, close that up for safekeeping. We don't want any bad guys to end up in there at all. We want to keep those villagers safe. We're going to run back over here and take a look at what Spiderweb Ninja has built. I can't wait to see this uh, this booth. Actually, I can't wait for you to see this booth. I've seen the booth. <laughs> she was able to build it and get it all set up, and we got the a little name tag set up on it. So, Or not a name tag, but like a sign. We got a sign set up, so that way um, people know exactly what this thing is about. And I went ahead and like set up the, the shopkeeper. So they've got this... Um, I don't know if it, like, okay, so the way that you can mod Minecraft now is a little bit different than the way it used to be. And I think what they've done is set up some kind of a, what do they call it? It's like a data pack, I think. Uh-oh, did I jump down the wrong spot? I do believe I did. Let's go over here. But I think they set up like a data pack. And the data pack lets you have shopkeepers. and But you have to, like, do all these little tricks. You have to set up um, a chest. So the most recent chest you placed, and then you have uh, a token, which here we're using large ferns. I think Frilia said he set up to be large ferns because that's a thing that you can't naturally get in vanilla Minecraft. Like you can plant a fern and bone meal it and it'll make a large fern, but you can't actually get a large fern. So that's the little token you use. And you have to right click it and aim it at the chest. And then you have to do all this finagling to choose what kind of a mob or creature you want it to be. And then you place it down. And then you can interface with it. I'm going to show you how we interface with it. So let's see here. Look at this. Gender the Mender. <laughs> and the color scheme of this is awesome because the, the little kiosk looks great. And it doesn't match the other stuff in the store. So it really pops. It really stands out. And right here at the front is just awesome. So let's see here. Can I do this with something in my hand? I can. Okay, awesome. So view chest inventory. This is like the little editor that we can interface with. So I'm going to click this. And this shows me I've got... Do you see that? I've got a chest underneath some carpets on the floor. So that's going to let us... And I guess, you know what? I could do this as well. I could open that and just put stuff in there. Awesome. I got a few more spots. So I'll come back later and add some more books. I know if people start buying, we're going to have to restock the shop anyway. Go ahead and eat some food. And then this guy should be ready to go. Let's see here. I think I need to set it up. You squat. This is the item that's for sale. We want to sell one at a time. And I think if we left click, yeah, I think we had decided the price was going to be 10. That's what KB had been selling them for. And people seem to think that was a fair price. So we're going to go ahead and sell them for 10 per mending book, which is awesome. And because this is a joint effort between myself and Spiderweb Ninja, we're just going to, we're going to just split the profits 50, 50. So easy. So awesome. So there we go. Zender the Mender is set up. He's stocked and ready to go. And so is the, the lumbering pig. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the lumbering pig this shop is set up and ready to go which is just awesome so now i've created myself a new conundrum we have to figure out a way to supply said store with plenty of stock so people can buy stuff which is what we're going to have to do next so if you enjoyed this episode please click that like button and if you want to see more of these as i release them don't forget to subscribe and if you want youtube to notify you whenever new videos come out click the notification bell also go check out all the other alphas all their uh different channels all those links are down in the description box you can go check out our website to see what everybody's up to and you can join the discord the Discord channel so you can hang out with all the other fans and all the other alphas and chit chat with them. Thank you so much, Spider Web Ninja, for building this and helping me with that joint venture of figuring out how to get the villager set up and ready to go. But I'm going to go ahead and run back to base because I've got to start creating a support system to support this new shop. And I, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Apparently, I got some building to do. So I'm going to do that to be ready for next episode. And that is when I hope to see you is in the next episode of AlphaCraft.